up my fellow gamers and welcome to the first round of group b yes we are now in the second group of this tournament of four um where it is myself playing as the empire versus torrin as his fishy friends over there as the vampire coast so let's quickly go over the armies we have five units of spearmen with shield we also have a warrior priest lead in the front line as support we do have a light wizard the silver bullet an art selector have the witches um, Hailstorm Rocket Battery, protected by Fledglings. Um, we also have uh, two units of handgunners, one on each side. And we've got two units of a Knight of the Blades and Sun, hidden, as you can see, over here and over here. But, Torrin, he has got some scurvy dogs, some on the very far flank over here, and all the way over here on this hill as well. His main line of Cowardly Fist people a uh, zombie um, pirate deckhands mob, which is being led by a fleet captain of vampires. He's got a couple more um, deckhand mobs there just on the flanks to su support. Um, ah, they've got pole arms, fair enough. We also have normal pole arm guys there. We've got depth guard over here um, and some more pole arms. We do have two canner aids and we've got a mortar as well. So there's a lot of firepower coming up here. And then we've got some fail bats, two units of um, deck droppers of handguns, and Luther Harkin on his uh, terror guys. Um, who's again doing that weird thing where he's looking the wrong way? He's, what are you doing? We're over here. What, what are you doing? Anyway, as you can see, we're looking really healthy as that artillery gets in there. So, um, yeah, I mean, some of you may have heard of Torrin or may not have heard of him. Um, if you haven't, I don't know how. But his skills are so good. His micro and his um, use of units so good that he's pretty much undefeatable. It's like his stuff is immortal. And you know what I'm going to say to that? Immortals. We'll put their name to the test. So uh, that being the case, I have a plan. It's a very simple plan against such mastery. It is my firm belief that God hates the British. He will intervene miraculously and send us a glorious victory on this field of Waterloo. No oh, problem! Because there, there is one slight problem in this that, that, that has been pointed out to me. Um, you went for return, man. Never go for return. So, the first problem we've got here is all my stuff is on skirmish mode. Oh, beautiful mortar hit there. Fair about to get in there, but we are now firing in there. Dove, the Knights of the Blaine Sun, chasing the first scurvy dog, because they actually bumped into each other. But we do have the second unit again in here. We do have the deck drop, are absolutely demolishing these spearmen over here. Um, in comes the scurvy dogs and the mortar support. Our selector trying to get in there as well. That Flagon is trying to get in there now. But they've managed to get into the silver bird. Let's have some rocket battery still fine. Some of these my cannons walked forward and have been utterly destroyed. I've no idea why they did this. They had a clear line of sight and they decided to just walk forward. So, um, we got one unit of handgunners going. We've got the cannons gone. No, God! We're all blocked up nicely around this one unit of scurvy dogs. The mortar can get us. No, God, please, no! No! Flagons are no longer protecting the Hellstorm rocket battery. No! The cannons are gone, the crew's gone, we're being shot over here. No! We've no longer got a front line. Torrin hasn't had to move any of his infantry. This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. Night was a movement as well. We're trying to get our front line back up. You've got the scurvy dogs coming around the flank. Hellstorm rocket battery, is that still going? It is still going. I think we've lost one of them. Oh no, I'd reload it, I think. Oh, that was a nice volley there by the mortar, straight in the middle of that group there. Where's the knight? Oh, we've got a knight hidden there, we've got the knight hidden there because I've forgotten about them. Oh, still rocket battery is being destroyed now. No, that is finished, it's destroyed. These guys got over. These guys are not sure where they're going, but they are getting mortared. Oh, here comes the scurvy dogs, but it's fine because the unit I was meant to have isn't there. Um, 
so that's going on. But we have netted the Terrorgeist. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Everything should now be firing at that. Cannons going into, into the scurvy dodge, into the flank as well. Wards are going in there to finish them off. Hellstorm rocket battery's gone. So that's, I don't know where you guys were, but you weren't where you were meant to be. The knights over here haven't been used, and the ones over here has been forgotten. Uh-oh. Oh, the scurvy dogs, I believe, are gone now. Not that it really matters. We've lost another unit of handgunners. The mortars are getting into there nice and bundled up. Um. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting that feeling as well. Oh, beautiful breath attack there. He's really trying to take that, that light wizard out. No idea why. Um, but all of our handgunners, all 19 of them, are taking on all of these guys. The terror guys has in fact landed to take on the light wizard. Are you guys going to get... Yeah, no, they're getting involved. But he's now fleeing. These dead drops having an amazing time. Look at the bodies there. It's all piled up. Yep, we're, we're pretty much losing all our range support. He's going after the hangers. Now he's going after the... I don't think there's any left in there. Oh, but we have netted him. That should keep him on the ground. That's good. We should be able to get our guys into him. I mean, we won't use the knights when that comes. And he's taken off. Did anyone know that when you're netted, you can still take off? Anyone? Because I've seen that ground unit. Why is it something you can fly? I, I don't know. But all our stuff here is kind of... um. It's all gone wrong, and up to this point, there is no artillery, there is no range, so, um, I believe, yeah, we've given the order to charge, and as history has taught me anything, charging carelessly into the enemy lines has always led to victory for the attackers. Their leader will step forward. A man called Gregory. Probably. With a gold star in his fedora marking his rank. A qualifier. The eagle standard bearer. Like in Roman time. And he will turn to his men and he will chant. For glory. For the memes. For the vine. For the puss puss. And they'll begin the charge. We now have the knight as well advancing. This is an all or nothing attack. We do have the deck droppers going onto the handgun arm, um, the art selector there. Terrorgeist has finally dealt with that light wizard. He, he just did not want... He's still alive. I, I take that back. He is very much not alive. Um, where's the other half of him? Did he generally just eat him? That, um, that's a thought. But the main battle lines have now gone in. Victory is a sword for the Empire. There's nothing that can stop this charge, not when men pit their hearts and minds to it. So Torin finally began to actually react. We still got all the artillery going. Still got all the shots going. And now Luther's coming in after the selector. This is our um, This is one. At this moment, he knew. He fucked up. Yeah, he's now fleeing. The front line's going. The knights try to do some damage. Um, but no, he, he's dead. Um, the art selector's dead. And um, I don't think our lead ship's going to hold much longer. Um, yep, no, there we go. So all that's left... Is these seven got okay? Um, yeah, seven of them left. They should be fine. They should be able to carry us to victory. I believe in them. Now there's only one of them left. Hello, darkness, my old friend. So as you can see by the scores, there that was an incredibly close game. I mean, it says close defeat. But it was practically a draw, as you could tell. Um, but th there was practically nothing left on both sides. I mean, they say Torrance is a fantastic player, but um, 
I, I thought he, he, he was a bit of a challenge. Yeah, he was definitely a challenge. And anyone that says that he owned me the, say, four unit is liars and Western propaganda. Um, and not to be believed. It's, um, yeah, they're just lying to you. I mean, anyone that owns a dog this adorable that can tell you what to do and everything is clearly lying. I mean, if you look this puppy close in the eyes, you would do whatever it tells you. Like, hit the subscribe and the like button. Do it. So, anyway. That was a beautiful game there by Torrin. I really appreciate him taking part in this tournament. It was a great way for me to warm up before I take on the um, the rest of the, the YouTubers and get myself at least second place, I think, in this group, if not first. But, um, yeah, don't believe what Torrin has on his channel because he's probably lying to make himself feel better because he's meant to be one of the best, you know, you, um, Total War players on YouTube and yet someone like me nearly brought him down. It was that close. It was so close. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me, and we're going to wrap up this episode with our victory with these adorable kitten images. I hope you enjoy. Till next time, guys. Take care.